I am with Jagannath Panda now and we are um, actually looking at Joika Devi's work. So Jagannath, any personal favourites? Well, I almost many works I really liked. You know, there is a very sense of um, new language emerging with this uh, young artist. And um, I can say that this one or that one, they have uh, their own way of, you know, uh, uh, kind of a new uh, idiom evolving. I can sense them, you know. Uh, but each one have a long way to go and uh, and the occasion is amazing the way uh, uh, it's been planned and uh, supporting the young artists that's really really good and I remember you know this uh, kind of uh, uh, even never ever you know when we was you know yeah never existed before so uh, we need to encourage this kind of activity more and more in India so um, then artists can feel they are comfortable about the new language or whatever they are exploring. This would, this would be come out and visible, you know, in the gallery and place. So, uh, so we can feel that how diverse art practice in India we have. I think it's also going to kind of uh, help break that polarity we have, uh, where we have not kind of discovered uh, artists from within their own zones, you know, like uh, otherwise we are centered at, around metropolitan cities and whoever is working within that zone. But I think uh, something like this where an online platform like West College Art mm -hmm. and an international uh, kind of a whiskey brand like Glenfiddich which has been supporting art right, right, right. kind of come together and fuse their strengths in helping younger artists come, uh, you know, do something. And probably they might they might just hit the gallery network next. So uh, it's a good thing to kind of see that. Yeah, because we should not see like only in the kind of uh, every thing should happen through the gallery platform or something. You know, they should uh, evolve in different different way. You know, uh, the way the course are planned doing. You know, there's something new thing arise and all that, and then. Uh, uh, the, that that's the way we like it. It should be diverse way of supporting the young artists. The whole idea and I think exposure. Exactly. You know, you know, yeah. the artist has talent. There is no dearth of talent in this country. Right. But the only problem is getting it out there and having it exposed to everyone. And I I don't know. I mean, what I've seen and I think what you are seeing now today uh, see, is people from places we Right, true, true, because the way uh, these artists works are here in the Opera Hotel, you know, most, uh, you know, um, uh, important place, maybe a lot of visibility in a different way. Uh, than, so that way it has a kind of uh, its own strain. And uh, I could see the best of best college of art dot com. They were all doing great job. Yeah. Mm, and uh, people, we can see many uh, new emerging artists through it. And uh, maybe we can look at every year's uh, in different way to uh, to yeah uh, activity yeah that's thank you so much <laughs> so Zumir, you are one of the jury members and uh, it was a well deliberated conclusion um, you think uh, this platform is going to push them into something which uh, will help art in general within India or do you think this is uh, yet to come to fruit? Well, I think it has happened in a very right time. Uh, why I would say that because there are many platforms which are coming in but then you need to make sure that which one is correct. Uh, also with this kind of a stage where you're just passing out of the college and you have a very fragile kind of a career movement in front of you, you have no idea what, what going to derive you over the next two and a half years or five years probably. Uh, I think it is very important for someone like this kind of an organization to come in right at the time. When you're just coming out of the college and you kind of focus on certain things, it derives a lot of other people to kind of work much more maturely. Uh, especially in this show, when we see five people doing the best of the works, uh, I would say it's a very interesting mix of all of them. It's a fantastic experience to kind of sit and see all of them and then, then kind of just peel off one another layer of it and then knowing that who's the, who's like the the best out of the lot uh, and then to just like spin it all together 
I think it's a very interesting experience, and I'm sure all for it is. It'll be very good for the younger artists to come. There was another thing when I was looking through the site. I felt like you know, uh, you would think that there is uh, just a certain kind of art happening in India. But when you looked at all these young guns coming out straight from college and doing the artwork they are doing, I felt like it was a surprise for me. Uh, did you feel the same? Or? I would. I was actually taken by a surprise in terms of uh, the the nature of the subjects, uh, and the, and the way they are handling. Obviously, uh, the technical assistance will arrive with its own time. It takes for years. Like for me, it is taking for years to kind of be the perfect media and to choose the right thing to execute. Well, I think it is a, it's a wonderful beginning which you see it around here. It's a very mature kind of body and uh, you get the pulse of it very quickly. I think it's all good. Thanks so much. Thanks. I'm Veer Munchi now and he was one of the jury members who decided on uh, the Emerging Artist of the Year award. So, we, uh, how was the whole process? Was it really something you know which took a lot out of you? Yeah, I think it was very democratic because uh, <coughs> there were 1800, I believe. There were 1800 and some odd uh, uh, competitors who had sent the works. Uh, and so, there was uh, these five selected. I think it worked well and what you see here in the gallery is very good. And the more I believe that this emerging artist award is very good because it reflects of our time when, when you come out of art college you have nothing to do, it means you have no support system. So these are the things I think we need more in India to have such support structures for the emerging artists who come out of the art college and find their ways out and they need to be supported. Otherwise, many good talented artists get fizzled out. Uh, that's one part. Second part is um, s a jury and selecting the uh, artists here. So there were many because we are five, five jury members, five or six or seven jury members. Everyone has their op an opinion. So it is it is democratic because you had your vote. So uh, suppose whosoever uh, the Julika won the Emerging Artist Award, it has something connected to her own hometown where she belongs to and uh, I think it was good like she's politically conscious she is uh, uh, she uh, and also using the fabric and as a woman uh, and it's uh, whatever environmental things around so I think it was good to decide that I also like the, this calendar of um, uh, Arvind Kumar Singh and they were always tussle between the two. They were good paintings of um, you know, uh, Arundev. The, and all the five were, so it was a big tussle and all. I would have liked Arundev Singh, but then it gets uh, connected. So it is the, then the jury's decision. Not the jury's decision, it's an individual decision which overlaps with the votes and whosoever gets. That's why I say it's a democracy. But the whole idea is not who gets. All the five are important, I hope. Everyone gets what they deserve to, but important is this Emerging Artist Award. Uh, thank you very much for initiator of the Kapil Chopra, and you are doing a good job. <laughs> and uh, Peter, who is uh, really a great instrumental to put the show around, and I think it's a very great thing to happen for this particular time. I think, you know, when, uh, you know, great minds come together and put uh, everything into practicality, I think there's a lot we can do, you know? Yeah, because it speaks of our time when we were studying and you come, you don't know what to do because the art was not flourishing enough and there were not a lot of takers, there were not you do, and you feel you, many of the talent gets lost. So it's, that way it's very great encouraging to do anything for anybody. I'm hoping for great things with this. Thank you very much. Swapnil, so, uh, which, uh, which artist do you prefer today? Amrita, I like Tanmoy Roy uh -huh. because it's very appealing visually. I love the colors, I like the texture, especially the one which, you know, right here. Yeah, that's called natural bonding. That's right. I really like this. Uh, of course, it is, you know, he's taken this inspiration, inspiration from Klimt and uh, Klimt is one of my favorite artists. So, yes, maybe. That's the reason. But yeah, I love the whole... Uh, 
um, you know, composition, the colors, it's very nice. And of course, the bits and parts, you know, what he's trying to depict, I think is really nice. Like this one, of course, is very folk oriented, you know, it reminds you of those Australian folk art and uh, and this, as you have, we had discussed, you know, Kaligat. And so it's very interesting. What about what about you? <laughs> the same opinion. I love the colors very much. Yeah. I like also the use of the animals that he's doing, right. and it really grasps your attention. So I like it a lot, especially yeah. that one, the big one. Oh, no, because one. what I said before, that one somehow attracts me, but also somehow bothers me. I have kind of uh, I don't know. It's scary at the same time and beautiful at the same time like the dragonfly that it's an animal that it's scary and beautiful at the same time for me